And welcome to day 7 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 24 in the Eastern Pacific and Tropical Storm Andrea has made landfall in northern Florida this evening. Um, currently the wind speeds are 50 miles per hour after peaking as a 65 mile per hour storm. We also have two invests out in the, in the northern hemisphere at the moment, Invest 92L in the Atlantic which now has a 10% chance of formation in the central Atlantic and 98W which is in the western Pacific, you can see it here on the Pacific satellite imagery. Um, the full Pacific wide view there, not much going on in the Eastern Pacific just yet um, at the moment, but we have 98W there in the Western Pacific which may form, um, which may develop into a storm as it moves in a generally northward direction over the next few days. Uh, looking at the Atlantic of course we've got Tropical Storm Andrea which may landfall in Florida, this image is uh, a little bit um, out of date, you can see the storm centre still a little bit offshore on that picture but it has made landfall not too long ago, just a few hours ago. Um, and of course 92L you can see there in the centre of the Atlantic Ocean. And here's the Indian Ocean as well which is still quiet at the moment um, with no new invests in that area. Though we do have um, an area of interest which may become um, interesting out in the Bay of Bengal where there's a little bit of cloud cover there which may develop into a tropical uh, disturbance perhaps over the next few days. That will remain to be seen. Uh, the sea surface temperatures, here they are, uh, still not much change. The uh, Gulf of Mexico waters were, Andrea has been uh, recently, are cooling down slightly to around 26 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees in some areas near the coastal waters. And in the North Indian Ocean you can see warm waters continuing, especially towards the very far north of the ocean, 28 degrees or more, and around 28 degrees or more in uh, the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea as well, maybe even 30 degrees here. Tropical Storm Andrea is certainly not done yet, even though it has made landfall, its pressure is at a low of 992 millibars at the moment, that's the lowest we've seen it so far, and is expected to remain tropical at least for the next 12 to 24 hours, so tropical storm warnings remain in effect for many areas. And then it's expected to turn extra tropical as it skirts up the northeast and the United States coast and then um, perhaps makes another landfall as an extra tropical storm in Nova Scotia and beyond. Um, tropical storm warnings in effect for Boca Grande to Stain Hatchet River, Florida, Flagler Beach, Florida to Cape Charles Light, Virginia, Pamlico and Albemarle Sounds and Lower Chesapeake Bay south of New Point Comfort at the moment. Tropical storm warnings, there they are. Uh, and flood watches in effect as well for parts of Georgia, most of southern North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, southeast New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, southern Vermont, and southwestern Maine. Phew, we got through that one. Um, and here's Tropical Storm Andrea um, on the satellite imagery, the latest imagery here um, over the past day or so. You can see the center of the storm moving directly over land um, around the Big Bend area of Florida, and that was in the past few hours during daylight hours. Um, over there in Florida at the moment. You can see the storm making landfall at peak intensity as it's expected to be 65 mph, uh, 992 millibars. Uh, we also have the closer here of Invest 98W which is currently just east of the Philippines. You can see the Philippines there off to the, uh, off to the uh, left of the screen and that storm perhaps may be getting its act together over the next few days. Low chance of formation at the moment for this one but that may rise over the coming days. So let's look at the computer models then. You can see the CMC forecast here, which is uh, basically following the official track at the moment, um, moving into uh, the eastern coast, eastern uh, coastlines of the United States, into the northeast and beyond. The ECMWF, very similar again, as a deep system, uh, eventually weakening as it approaches the uh, sea and then to Nova Scotia and beyond, of course. Um, you can see it going out to sea fairly quickly. Of course, it's going to move out very fast over the next few days, so in around two or three days time the storm will be history for most of the northeast and parts of the United States but nonetheless flood warnings are in effect and indeed local flooding or perhaps even more widespread flooding may occur as a result of the storm um, particularly off to the east of the centre where the most of the um, clouds associated with the storm are at the moment though it is wrapping itself around a little bit better than it has been um, before it made landfall. Uh, there's an Abgem forecast um, I think that was predicting a bit of a similar track as well. The GFDR you can see there doing again very similar track, perhaps a bit more inland on that one, um, skirting up the northeastern coast, yes, staying inland to the northeast and then just to the northern part of Nova Scotia. And the HWRF model as well, predicting something fairly similar and then developing into an extra tropical uh, storm out in the northern Atlantic 
beyond the uh, three or four day forecast period. So let's take a look at the overall predictor season scores for June the 7th, 2013. No changes in scores except for any new submissions. There have been four new submissions since the last update yesterday. One of them have, has made it into sixth place in the form of five exclamation marks. Five, no less. Maybe not three or four, but five. Um, with 91 points in sixth place at the moment. Um, and you can submit your storm totals at the Force 13 website, force13.com forward slash interactive. And you can submit any name you want into your submission uh, bar, as long as it's less than 20 characters or so, um, into the submission. Pick your numbers, and in they go, and out it comes on the leaderboard there. On this day, June the 7th, then, 1969, Tropical Depression 7 forming near the Yucatan Peninsula. In 1975, Tropical Depression 1 dissipating in the Atlantic. In 1976, Tropical Depression 2 forming near the Bahamas. In 1985, Tropical Storm Carlos forming in the Eastern Pacific. In 1987, Tropical Storm Adrian formed in the same region. And in 1997, Tropical Storm Andres made landfall uh, near San Salvador in El Salvador there on June the 7th. And there's some more coming up, 2000. Tropical Depression 1 forming in the Gulf of Mexico in 2003. Tropical Storm Sudalor forming in the Western Pacific. In 2007, Cyclone Gonu dissipating in the Indian Ocean. Three years later, Cyclone Fed also dissipating. And in 2011, Tropical Storm Adrian formed in the Eastern Pacific on this day on June the 7th. And don't forget you can track any storm that forms, including Andrea at the moment, and indeed 92 Early Invest and 98W as if they form. Um, track the storms on the website forcefortin.com forward slash storm tracking.html. That'll take you straight to the uh, tracking pages. It's also at the bottom of this video, so there's no excuses for not visiting. Um, and you can track any storm in any basin and warming, warning information as well, of course. And of course, the social pages uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, Force 13, we're on all of those. And uh, don't forget to show your support by liking, following, and subscribing to the YouTube videos, of course. And uh, subscribing is also a good tool as well, so you can keep in the loop with any new videos that come out because they're fairly rapid with all the bulletins and updates and such. And there'll be another update on Andrea probably as well during the day on June the 7th. That's it for now.